Hi, I'm Andre from Nuziogenic and I'm going to show you how to create the balloon gun from uh, Boneworks. So if I shoot a balloon at this object, it will generate a balloon and it will attach itself to it. And once I've got a certain number of balloons generated, then the object starts to float away like this. And just a few more. And I've got also um key if i push it and it will destroy the object the the balloon sorry so i can use this on um, objects with the uh, bones like this a skeleton meshes like this one and even the, the character like this That's cool. So let's see how we can do this. So first I'm gonna go do an overview of what I've done and then we're gonna take it uh, step by step. So this is quite simple. I've just made a um, blueprint with a balloon in it and the cable and all the stuff. And what I do is I point the mouse, when I point the mouse at an object, I um, generate this and attach it. So let's see. So the, the balloon uh, blueprint. So we've got a balloon mesh here. Then I attach to it where component. This is for the string that connects it. And also a physics constraint. So this will link the balloon to the object that we're po pointing at. So here, if I look at the event graph, uh, at the event tick, we just add a force to the balloon so it floats away. And here, uh, this is a custom event. So when we execute this, we'll execute this from the player. Then we're just going to go um, attach the physics constraint to the other component that we hit on the other actor. Then uh, we'll attach the cable to it. And then uh, we'll set the end location of the cable. This is so that the cable is actually connected to the, um, the location where we hit. So this is the part from the balloon. And if we look at the, the character here, like this. So I'm using the P key. And I'm just doing a simple line trace uh, from the camera, right, to a certain distance. Then I, I'm breaking this the heat down, checking if the if I hit something and if the actor that I hit is valid. And then I spawn the balloon um, blueprint that we see, saw before uh, to this to the hit location right here, and then. I execute the, the custom event that you saw earlier in the blueprint, uh, the balloon blueprint. And then I send the hit component and eventual bone name, if I have one, and the hit location. Okay, so that's, that's really it. For destroying this, the same thing, we do a line trace like here, and then just uh, destroy actor on the actor that we did is actually destroys any actor that we hit so it's not only for the blue but yeah th so that's it so let's take this step by step so let's first create the blueprint for the balloon just an actor like this and go inside and <clears throat> let's create a static mesh sorry about that it's a static mesh like this and i have i'll call this balloon and i have a mesh for the balloon i can i'll link that in the description 
so you can use it yourself this is kind of big but you can uh, we'll take it down uh, and scale like this okay let's deactivate the uh, so let's simulate the physics on this one and we'll deactivate gravity so just search gravity here and we'll deactivate gravity because we, we're gonna apply a force to it to go up so there's no need to apply gravity on it well you could have that if you want but yeah okay so let's put this at the mass of one kilo and i think we're done for this let's just raise this so it's base it's in the center of the actor because the the actor will be um will be spawned in the point of attachment so it's going to attach from here now let's create the cable component so this is going to be parented to the balloon as you see here right so it's going to move with the balloon itself so we want this to be here right so it's attached in this region in the lower part so you can put it um, more precisely yourself okay so the other end it's gonna be attached to the actor that we attach the balloon to so I think we'll just uh, put here zero even we we don't need that because we're gonna change this uh, via blueprints so I think we'll leave it like that just solve our iteration here let's put this to 10 so the cable is more stiff it doesn't slack so I think that's it for this let's add the physics constraint <coughs> <clears throat> this one and this one uh, I'll just remove it and select the default scene root and then create them again like this because the physics constraint is going to be parented to the actor not to the balloon right so here we'll just leave just like that and le limit the linear limits we'll put to 100 here that means one meter wait sorry 300 so that means three meters of course you can put this to whatever you want and i think that's it for the constraints so now we've got the elements in place let's go ahead and make this balloon float right so if you go here and um, in the event tick let's we'll just take uh, the balloon and we'll say add force like this and the force is going to be upwards so on the z-axis let's put let's put 1000 so i think that should be enough right so if we drag this in the scene let's see what happens yeah so it floats of course it's going indefinitely but wait Oh, we actually forgot to change so we have to constraint so the physics constraint is gonna be we're gonna link it to the other component the one that we hit and one of these components will actually be the balloon well let's just for test we'll put this because we're, we're gonna change it but let's leave it like that so if we don't put anything it's gonna um, anchor to the, the actor itself so it should limit the balloon yeah so as you can see well i think i hit too hard there but yeah i can grab it and it works okay so that's good now let's go into the so we'll go back and do the event itself afterwards let's first go into the player character here and let's let's do this let's implement this right so we'll just remove this and take it step by step right so for the b key 
I push the B key like this. First, I want to do a line trace, right? So I want to line trace by channel like this. Just connect this into press like this. So the start, this, so the start is going to be where the player camera is, right? So let's get the player camera. So for that, we get player manager. I will say it's zero. If you guys have another setup, you can change it here, but for us, it's good. So we get the actor location. So when we do a line trace, we start from somewhere we can go to another location so we're gonna start here right and go like that so get actor location should be fine and then the end well we'll get this and we'll get the forward forward actor vector get forward vector like this oh, sorry not this one this one right so this is the vector in which the direction we're actually looking at so it's going to be like that so this is only a direction so it's it's got a length of one and in order to uh, get it to to another location, we'll have to um, multiply that, right? So this is, we'll put here the length where we want the trace to go. So let's say 10,000 centimeters, right? So that's like 100 meters. So I think that should be enough, right? So this one, so we have a vector of 10,000 here in the direction that we want. And we want to add this to the actor location because we want this vector to start from here, right? So we add this. To the tree start here, the actor location, and this will give us the end, the end of the trace. So somewhere over here, far away, actually. Right, okay, so I think the trace is good. Now let's break this hit result because we will need this. So first let's see, I put a branch here to see if we actually hit something. And so if we look at the hit result, then we have a hit actor. So the actor that we hit, uh, what we want to do is, um, this one we'll see if is valid right like this so i'm really sure that the actor that we've hit it's actually valid so we don't get errors so now we want to spawn the uh the balloon so it says spawn spawn actor from class I put this here. Okay, now I want to select the class here and I'll go balloon one because this is one that we just made, right? We don't need to put anything else in, just the spawn transform. So let's just right click here, split this. So we got the transform. What we need is actually the location uh, so that we when we hit the object somewhere like here, let's say, we want to get this location and spawn the balloon there, right? So that location is actually the location that we have here and the location of the hit in the world space. This is going to give us a location that is outside of the actor so we don't get clip, clipping problems. So we just put this here because this is a world location, right? So now this, this should already work. 
just so the actor is spawned and uh, we'll see afterwards for manipulating it somehow so we go here and hit B I already have have it working right so it spawns exactly where it should right cool but if we move this we'll see that it actually um, it actually uh, doesn't attach itself to the object okay so now um, let's go into the balloon back here in the event graph right so we got in the add force at the event tick let's create another custom event we'll just search add custom event I will put here attach a component like this so this will we'll use this so that we can we can send data from the player character to the balloon component right because we want to send to the balloon which uh, which component has been hit where and if there are any bones and with that information we're going to update the physics constraint the cable and uh, that should be enough okay so in the balloon here attach component let's create inputs for this so let's say component right and the type of primitive component that's good then we have location this is the latch on location i will put this to a vector and then we have a bone name eventually if there are bones and if we hit a, um, a component with bones then it's going to give us the bone name so bone name here and this i thought it was string before but it's actually a name we have to select a name here like that okay so we got the event here Let's go ahead and go into the player character and we'll say, okay, so we spawn the, spawn the actor and then here we can execute the event. Uh, component. Uh, wait, sorry about that. Did we compile? Yes, attach component. All right, so. So we have it here, call function, right? so that's good okay so we have to send it the component that we hit this one here the location and this is the same location that we got here let's do like this and the bone name this is if we have any bones or not but yeah so this is it for the player character let's compile this and go back to the balloon so now we have all the info that we want here so what do we do with this? Well, um, first we got set the physics constraint here. So we'll set um, set constraints components like this, right? So let's say the first component is the is the balloon, right? no bone name for this one and the second one will take the hit component and we'll take the bone name right so if there is one it will latch onto it so this is it of the physics constraint we've already configured here so there's no need for other stuff let's take the cable and we'll say so for the cable we want to set okay so this is a bit complicated well not really but as yeah, so the cable is is just we can attach just one end to another component the other the the first com uh, end it's going to be attached to the its parent right so we'll take the other end and attach it to the component that we hit right so attach end to this one and we'll set this uh, sorry about that 
to set this in the event graph, right? So in the attach component, set country components, and here attach end. I will say component. So we're going to attach directly the component, right? So component will take it from here, just pipe it like that. And eventually, and if we have it, a socket name, right? It's if it's a bone, it's if we have it. So let's um, there is another thing here. So the component, the cable is going to attach itself to the center of the component that we put it here. So we're going to have to set the um, um, how is that? Let's look again here. We'll have to the end location, right? Because if we look here, the end location, it's in the center here. It's going to be in the center. But you know what? Let's just try it like that. And we'll see. You'll see what I mean. So if we hit B here, as you can see, it's already attached. It's working, right? But as you probably see, it's it's if I point it here and hit B, it's gonna attach itself to the center. So we're gonna have to fix that. But let's let's just try it like this. Okay, so I think. Yeah, let's just fix that. So uh, we'll take the cable and set end location like this. So we'll do a bit of math for that. Right, so the end location, it's going to be, so if we point it to here, we're going to have, we're going to have the location name in the world space, and then we're going to have to put it in the coordinates of this component, right? So for that, we'll get, sorry about that. I'm gonna close that. So here in the attach component, we'll put, we'll say, we'll take the component, right? Like this. And we'll get its transform. Uh, get pull transform right so this is so this is transform that will get us from the origin of the world to uh, this uh, the, the, the this uh, component state so we'll get the so we'll do an inverse transform location to the the point that we hit right so this one. And then we'll pop it here. So let me explain this a bit. So the world transform of the component, of this component, it means that our rotation, location, and uh, 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 size of this from uh, the center of the world um, and then well inverse that that means that we take something from the world and we put it in this coordinates it's going to be relative to the center of here so if you take the point that we hit here and we put it we inverse that into the coordinates the transform of the component here that means it's going to go, go uh, get us the location from the center to here so this is exactly the location that we need for the cable component this one because the cable is attached right to the component as you can see here it's attached to the component itself so then we shift that location to where we hit for the end of the cable right so let's see if it works so it's just uh, hit B. So as you can see, 
it latches on exactly at that point, right? Like this. Okay, so that's kind of it, but I think we made a mistake somewhere. We have could have, should have, have flown. Um, yeah, I think the mistake was that here in the Ventic, the force that we apply, it's just a thousand. So I think we're gonna go with 10,000. So it's a bit stronger. So go back. Yeah, so it's starting to work. So you can even uh, uh, can even uh, okay. So you grab this. By the way, you can you could grab them. Yeah, no problem. Like this. So let's just table this a bit. Okay. So you can even uh, let's try again this because it's starting to move like that. So you can uh, link a balloon to another balloon if you really want to. Like this. I just have some fun. <laughs> right so it will actually lift it as you can see so it's just okay so it's starting to lift it so you can do this crazy thing like this okay well, let's let's put here so this works also and for the mannequin itself So yeah, afterwards you can, if you want to, um, if you wanna check these, um, the, uh, sorry, the balloon you could, if you want, you can add a damping here. So it move, it doesn't wobble no, that much. So let's put this to maybe one or something, right? So now if it's gonna be more stable and less, So it stabilizes a lot quicker, right? As you can see. Ah, uh, yeah, and we have to implement also the destruction, but that's really simple. So if you go here in the player character, right? So when we hit T, like this. I'll just take the same line trace, just copy it. We don't care. Well, actually with this one, right? Everything. You guys can uh, make that more efficient if you want. Okay. So here we'll just take the actor that we hit, hit actor and we'll say destroy actor. And let's see if it works. So go back in here. So it's time it flies away. Now if we destroy this, so I, I push T, come back, it comes back down to earth. Cool. So that's it for this uh, tutorial. Thanks for watching. If you like this, uh, don't forget to share and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.